Good morning, staff and students. This is Dr. Turner, and welcome back to Turner Time. This is uh, the last day before your day off. Uh, we've had a great homecoming week, and I want to talk a little bit about the dance. I know some of you all have been waiting for me to talk about the dance. But um, on Saturday, well, Friday is the game, and obviously I'd, I'd love to see all of you all there. Uh, Saturday we have the game, uh, uh, the dance. And one of the things that I want you all to do today is make sure that you see Ms. Olson or come by the office if you have not picked up your uh, guest permission slip. I'm sure that some of you all probably already have the tickets, but I just want to make sure you get the slip back in your hand, uh, the permission form. Please take care of that. Just, just come by and get it if you haven't already uh, come by. Also, at the dance, talk a little bit about behavior. I expect for you all to be on your best behavior. I'm not going to take a lot of time to talk about rules because you all are old enough to know how to behave at the homecoming dance. Please be mindful of how you dance. I'm going to give out some wristbands. Obviously, we'll go through that process. If you're not dancing appropriately, uh, an adult will take the band. And if we have to continue to talk to you, then you could possibly be asked to leave. So let's not get to that point. Just enjoy yourself. Have a good time. The other piece is, and I'm really serious about this, is do not take Saturday night uh, as an opportunity to have any alcohol or drugs prior to coming to the dance. Last year, I spent roughly about two hours with a student. Thankfully, he was not one of our students. He was not a Monticello High School students, but I spent about two hours with the student who decided to come to our homecoming drunk, and it was not a very pleasant uh, experience. I had to deal with his guardian. Uh, he got sick, threw up all over the building. We had to get that cleaned up. I don't want to go through that. I just want to come and have a good time and, and see all of you all dressed up, and I want to watch and observe you all have a good time as well. So just keep that in mind. Just be on your best behavior, and everything will go fine. The other thing I want to talk about a little bit, I was, I was thinking about something. Last week, the, the TV crew put together a story about adversity. I want to ex expand on that a little bit because, as you know, the marking period has come to an end. Grades will be coming out soon. Maybe some of you feel like, hey, I wish I could have done better. Uh, maybe some of you all think that, uh, there's more that you can do to, uh, to, it, to improve your academic performance. And, and I, just, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to share with you all that uh, I was thinking about the, uh, the, the grades and adversity and maybe if you haven't done as well as you want, uh, what, what do you do next? And I'm going to share a little, a little known fact about, about Dr. Turner. I don't, I don't normally talk about my childhood much because who wants to really hear that? But um, it, it kind of it kind of makes sense with the whole ad adversity piece. But uh, when 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 I was younger and uh, uh, a child, I actually uh, boxed some. So um, and the this boxing and the grades have 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 uh, have a connection. And you know. If, if, if I was boxing and everything was, was clicking, I mean, I was throwing my jab, I was, hit, I was hitting the mark, I, I, I could see all the punches coming, uh, uh, jabs, right cross, right, right hook. And I remember a couple of times I felt like I was getting ready to, to really pull the uh, knockout off on my opponent or at least knock him down. And then I, I would notice that they would take a knee. Well, you know, in boxing, if you take a knee, it's actually considered a knockdown. But, but, the, but the point is, just like with your grades, if for some reason you don't feel like you, 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 you are, are doing well or you, you, you feel like there's so many issues that are going on that you, can't, that you can't seem to get a hold of what's happening, almost like when somebody's throwing punches in a boxing match, you can't get away from it, you're getting hit with everything. You take a knee, you pause, you get yourself together, you get back in the fight. 
That's the same thing with, with your grades. If you're not doing as well as you think you could, then pause, take a knee, talk with your teachers, and then get back in the game, okay? Don't, don't let your grades or, 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 or maybe uh, what, what, what you receive this particular marking period define the rest of the fight. Because one of the things that I noticed that when, uh, if I had an opponent take a knee, most of the time I didn't get the knockdown, I didn't get the knockout. I had to work harder to win, to win the fight. So uh, that was because they took a knee and paused and they, and, and they thought about their next move. So that's, that's what I want you all to do. Don't be so discouraged about the, the, possible, uh, the possibility that your grades are not going to be that great that you get knocked out of the fight. Just take a knee and pause and get back in it. With that, I'd like to say thank you for your time and attention. I uh, hope each of you have a wonderful day. You're off tomorrow. Please be safe all day tomorrow because I know you're not going to, your parents probably won't be at home, so I want you all to behave. Uh, and uh, make sure you come to the game. I love to see you tomorrow night, and I, I plan on seeing you at the dance as well. Thank you.